So for the purpose of this video is to show you exactly what we're looking for when it comes to getting window and door measurements. Um, for the sake of construction, we don't really care as much about what this trim looks like because what we're trying to do more often than not is keep the um, size and integrity of the window that you already have or the door that you already have um, to help keep costs down. That's not to say we're not going to change it down the line, but ultimately the opening is what we care about. So what we want to do is first get our width, and so the width is literally interior window to interior window, and the easiest way to do that is just draw your tape measure down on the sill and just get that full measurement. In this case, we're looking at a 70 inch window. The next measurement that we're going to need is the sill height. So basically, where does your window start? From the floor, you just measure it right to the top of your window sill, which we're looking at 23 inches. Keep it very simple. You don't need to do anything crazy. Just get normal dimensions here. And then when we've got to get our height, again, it's interior, so top of your sill to the bottom of the trim here. So we're looking at a 58 inch height here. Um, you know, making sure that we keep this opening in mind. And then what we're gonna do down the line is go ahead and get the measurement of the trim, but it's gonna be separate from that window dimension. It'll be a note on your plan. And it'll simply say, in this case, this is a flat stock and it is three and a half inches wide. That's all we need to know about your existing trim. And that's how you do a, a window measurement. And the same applies for a door. We're looking for interior setup. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks so much.